Hello and welcome, I am Hamada Al Halafawi. I brought you a new video today that talks about agriculture. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. What is agriculture, and why is it important? Agriculture is the practice of cultivating land, raising animals, and producing food, fuel, and fiber for human consumption. It is the backbone of the world's food supply and is essential for human survival. Agriculture is important because it provides food and raw materials for industries, creates employment opportunities, and contributes significantly to the economy of a country. Without agriculture, there would be no food to feed the world's growing population, and food scarcity and hunger would be widespread. Additionally, agriculture is a vital source of income and livelihoods for millions of people worldwide, particularly in developing countries where agriculture is the primary economic activity. Agriculture also has a significant impact on the environment, with sustainable agriculture practices being essential for protecting the planet's resources and ecosystems for future generations. In summary, agriculture is essential for our survival, our economy, and the health of our planet. What are the different types of agriculture? There are several different types of agriculture, each with its unique characteristics and techniques. Some of the major types of agriculture are 1. Subsistence agriculture This type of agriculture involves small-scale farming in which farmers produce only enough food to meet the needs of their family or village. 2. Commercial agriculture This type of agriculture is focused on producing crops and livestock for sale in markets. It includes large-scale farming operations that rely heavily on technology and modern farming techniques. 3. Organic agriculture Organic agriculture involves the use of natural and sustainable farming practices, avoiding the use of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and genetically modified organisms, GMOs. 4. Intensive agriculture Intensive agriculture is a type of farming that relies heavily on technology and high inputs of capital and labor to maximize yields per unit of land. 5. Extensive agriculture This type of agriculture is practiced on large land areas with low inputs of labor and capital, producing low yields per unit of land. 7. Mixed crop and livestock farming This type of agriculture involves the integration of crop and livestock production, where crops are grown for livestock feed, and animals provide manure for crop fertilization. Aquaculture this type of agriculture involves the cultivation of aquatic organisms such as fish, shellfish, and seaweed. 8. Agroforestry Agroforestry is a sustainable land use system that combines trees with crops and or livestock production to create a diverse and productive ecosystem. Each type of agriculture has its unique advantages and disadvantages, and choosing the right type depends on factors such as climate, soil type, topography, market demand, and available resources. How has agriculture evolved over time? 1. Agriculture has undergone significant changes and evolved over time, starting from the early days of human civilization to the present day. Some of the major milestones in the evolution of agriculture are 2. The Agricultural Revolution this occurred around 10,000 years ago when humans transitioned from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to agriculture-based settlements. This led to the domestication of plants and animals, the development of agriculture tools, and the establishment of permanent settlements. 3. The Green Revolution This took place in the 1950s and 1960s and involved the introduction of high-yielding crop varieties, improved irrigation systems, and the use of fertilizers and pesticides. This revolution increased global food production and helped to alleviate hunger in many parts of the world. For dot precision agriculture, this is a modern-day agricultural practice that uses technology to optimize farming operations. It involves the use of satellite imagery, drones, sensors, and other tools to collect and analyze data to improve crop yields and reduce environmental impact. 5. Sustainable agriculture This is a more recent development that seeks to balance economic, 
social, and environmental considerations in agricultural production. It involves the use of regenerative practices such as crop rotation, cover cropping, and reduced tillage to maintain soil health and reduce the use of synthetic inputs. In summary, agriculture has evolved from simple subsistence farming to a complex, technology-driven industry that plays a critical role in feeding the world's population. While these changes have brought many benefits, they have also presented new challenges, such as environmental degradation and climate change. The continued evolution of agriculture will require ongoing innovation and adaptation to ensure that it remains sustainable and resilient in the face of future challenges. How can technology be used to improve agricultural practices? Technology can be used to improve agricultural practices in a number of ways. Here are some examples. 1. Precision agriculture. Precision agriculture uses data analysis tools, such as GPS and remote sensing, to monitor crop health, soil moisture, and other factors in real time. This allows farmers to optimize their use of water, fertilizers, and pesticides, and reduce waste. 2. Biotechnology. Biotechnology can be used to create crops that are more resistant to pests and diseases, have a longer shelf life, and are more nutritious. Genetic engineering and gene editing technologies can be used to modify the DNA of crops to achieve these traits. 3. Farm management software. Farm management software can help farmers to manage their operations more efficiently. This includes tools for record keeping, crop planning, and inventory management. For dot drones, drones can be used to monitor crops, assess crop health, and apply pesticides and fertilizers with greater accuracy. This can help to reduce the use of chemicals and minimize the impact of farming on the environment. Autonomous farming equipment, autonomous farming equipment, such as self-driving tractors, can help to reduce labor costs and improve efficiency in farming operations. Overall, technology has the potential to significantly improve agricultural practices and address some of the challenges facing the industry. However, it is important to ensure that these technologies are deployed in a responsible and sustainable manner, and that they are accessible to farmers of all sizes and levels of resources. What are some sustainable agriculture practices? Sustainable agriculture practices are those that aim to maximize food production while minimizing negative impacts on the environment, preserving natural resources, and promoting social and economic equity. Here are some examples of sustainable agriculture practices. 1. Crop rotation. Crop rotation involves alternating the crops grown in a particular field to improve soil fertility and reduce the buildup of pests and diseases. 2. Conservation tillage. Conservation tillage involves reducing the amount of tillage, plowing, done on a field to reduce soil erosion, improve soil health, and conserve water. 3. Integrated pest management. IPM IPM involves using a combination of strategies to manage pests, including natural predators, crop rotation, and judicious use of pesticides to minimize negative impacts on the environment. For dot agroforestry, agroforestry involves incorporating trees and other woody perennials into agricultural systems to improve soil health, reduce erosion, and provide habitat for wildlife. 5. Organic farming. Organic farming involves using natural inputs, such as compost and manure, and avoiding the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. This can help to reduce negative impacts on the environment and improve soil health. 6. Cover crops. Cover crops are crops planted between cash crops to help improve soil health, reduce erosion, and provide habitat for beneficial insects and wildlife. Overall, sustainable agriculture practices aim to improve the long-term productivity and resilience of agricultural systems while minimizing negative impacts on the environment and promoting social and economic equity. These practices can help to ensure that agriculture remains a viable and sustainable source of food production for future generations. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to you.
I am Hamada Al Halafawi. Today we will talk about the apple fruit. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. How do apples contribute to the global food supply? Apples are one of the most widely grown and consumed fruits in the world. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, over 86 million metric tons of apples were produced worldwide in 2020, making them the third most produced fruit after bananas and grapes. Apples are a popular fruit for a variety of reasons, including their taste, texture, and versatility in the kitchen. They can be eaten raw or cooked, and are commonly used in pies, cakes, sauces, and juices. Apples are also a good source of dietary fiber, vitamin C, and antioxidants, making them a healthy addition to any diet. In addition to their nutritional value, apples are also an important crop for many regions of the world, providing jobs and income for farmers and contributing to the local economy. Apples are grown in a wide range of climates and can be stored for several months, making them a reliable source of food throughout the year. Overall, apples are an important and valuable crop that contribute to the global food supply in many ways. How do apples impact the environment and what are some sustainable apple farming practices? Apple farming can have both positive and negative impacts on the environment, depending on the farming practices used. Traditional apple farming methods often involve the use of pesticides and fertilizers, which can contribute to soil degradation, water pollution, and harm to wildlife. However, there are also sustainable apple farming practices that can minimize the negative environmental impacts of apple farming. These practices include Integrated pest management, this approach involves using a combination of biological, cultural, and chemical methods to manage pests and diseases, with the goal of reducing the use of synthetic pesticides. Cover cropping, planting cover crops between apple trees can help to improve soil health, reduce erosion, and provide habitat for beneficial insects. Water conservation, efficient irrigation systems and water management practices can help to conserve water and reduce the impact of apple farming on local water resources. Composting, using compost instead of synthetic fertilizers can help to improve soil health, reduce waste, and minimize the environmental impact of apple farming. Agroforestry, integrating apple trees into a diverse agroforestry system can provide multiple benefits, including improved soil health, enhanced biodiversity, and increased resilience to climate change. Overall, sustainable apple farming practices can help to minimize the negative environmental impacts of apple farming while still providing a reliable source of food and income for farmers. What are the health benefits of eating apples? Apples are a healthy and nutritious fruit that offer a range of health benefits. Here are some of the main health benefits of eating apples. Rich in nutrients, apples are a good source of fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They contain vitamin C, potassium, and various antioxidants that can help to support overall health. Boosts heart health, apples are known to be good for heart health, as they contain flavonoids that can help to reduce inflammation in the body and lower the risk of heart disease. Helps with digestion, apples are high in fiber, which can help to promote healthy digestion and prevent constipation. May reduce the risk of cancer, some studies suggest that apples may have anti-cancer properties, due to their high content of antioxidants. Helps control blood sugar levels, apples contain pectin, a type of soluble fiber that can help to regulate blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. May aid weight loss, apples are low in calories and high in fiber, which can help to promote feelings of fullness and prevent overeating. Good for bone health, apples contain nutrients like boron and fluorazine, which can help to promote bone health and prevent conditions like osteoporosis. Overall, eating apples as part of a balanced diet can provide numerous health benefits, making them an excellent choice for a healthy snack or addition to meals. How many types of apples are there? There are thousands of different types of apples, each with its own unique flavor, texture, and appearance. 
However, most apples can be categorized into three main groups based on their intended use, eating, cooking, and cider. Eating apples are typically sweet, juicy, and crisp, with a firm texture that makes them ideal for snacking. Some popular eating apples include Honeycrisp, Gala, Fuji, and Red Delicious. Cooking apples are typically tart and firm, which makes them ideal for use in pies, sauces, and other cooked dishes. Some popular cooking apples include Granny Smith, Braeburn, and Jonathan. Cider apples are a specific type of apple that is used to make cider. They are typically smaller and more bitter than eating or cooking apples, and are often grown specifically for this purpose. There are also many heirloom varieties of apples, which are older, less common types that are prized for their unique flavors and histories. These include varieties like Winesap, Newtown Pippin, and Gravenstein. Overall, the number of different types of apples is vast, and new varieties are constantly being developed through breeding and cultivation. How can apples be used in cooking and baking? Apples are a versatile fruit that can be used in a wide range of cooking and baking applications. Here are some common ways that apples can be used in the kitchen. Pies and tarts, apples are a classic ingredient in pies and tarts, and are often combined with cinnamon, nutmeg, and other warm spices to create a delicious and comforting dessert. Cakes and muffins, apples can be grated, diced, or pureed and added to cakes and muffins to add flavor, moisture, and texture. They pair well with other ingredients like nuts, raisins, and oats. Sauces and chutneys, apples can be cooked down into a sweet and tangy sauce that can be used as a condiment for pork, chicken, or turkey. They can also be combined with other fruits and spices to make chutneys, which can be served with cheese or crackers. Salads, apples can add a sweet and crunchy element to salads and are often paired with nuts, cheese, and leafy greens. They can be thinly sliced or diced and tossed with a simple dressing of olive oil and vinegar. Apple butter and jelly, apples can be cooked down with sugar and spices to make apple butter, which is a spreadable fruit that can be used on toast or biscuits. They can also be made into jelly, which can be used as a sweetener or spread. Overall, apples are a versatile ingredient that can be used in a wide range of sweet and savory dishes. They add flavor, texture, and nutrition to any recipe. How do you know when an apple is ripe and ready to eat? There are several ways to determine if an apple is ripe and ready to eat. Look at the color, as apples ripen, they change color. Most apples will become brighter in color, but some, like Golden Delicious, will turn from green to yellow. Red apples will become redder as they ripen. Check the firmness, a ripe apple should be firm to the touch, but yield slightly when you apply pressure. Smell it, a ripe apple should have a sweet, fruity aroma. Taste it, the best way to know if an apple is ripe is to taste it. If it's sweet and juicy, it's ready to eat. Check the stem, if the stem is still attached, gently twist it. If it comes off easily, the apple is ripe. Remember that different types of apples ripen at different times, so it's important to know when your favorite type is ready to eat. Pokovac967 at text.com How is apple juice made and what are its health benefits? Apple juice is made by pressing apples to extract their juice, which can be consumed as is or further processed to make other apple-based products. To make apple juice, the apples are first washed and sorted to remove any debris or damaged fruit. The apples are then crushed, typically using a machine called a scratter, to create a pulp. The pulp is then pressed to extract the juice, which is strained and pasteurized to remove any bacteria or microorganisms that could cause spoilage. Apple juice has several health benefits. It is a good source of vitamin C, which helps support a healthy immune system, and also contains antioxidants that can help reduce inflammation in the body. Drinking apple juice may also help improve heart health by lowering blood pressure and reducing the risk of heart disease. It's important to note that some store-bought apple juices may contain added sugar, 
which can add calories and reduce the health benefits of the juice. When possible, it's best to choose freshly made apple juice or juices labeled as 100% juice with no added sugars.
Mango is a tropical fruit that is beloved by people all over the world. It is juicy, sweet, and fragrant, and it is packed with nutrients that can promote good health. In this article, we will explore the health benefits of mango, its history and origins, and some delicious mango recipes that you can try at home. Health Benefits of Mango Mango is an excellent source of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin A, and folate. It is also rich in antioxidants, which can help to protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals. Additionally, mango contains fiber, which can aid in digestion and promote regularity. Some studies have even suggested that mango may have anti-inflammatory properties, which could make it beneficial for people with conditions like arthritis and asthma. History and Origins of Mango Mangoes are believed to have originated in India, where they have been grown for more than 4,000 years. They were considered a symbol of love and were often given as gifts to royalty. Today, mangoes are grown in many parts of the world, including Mexico, the United States, and the Caribbean. Mango Recipes There are many ways to enjoy the delicious flavor of mango. Here are a few recipes to get you started. Mango Salsa Combine diced mango, diced red onion, chopped cilantro, lime juice, and a pinch of salt to make a fresh and flavorful salsa that is perfect for dipping tortilla chips or topping grilled chicken. Mango Smoothie Blend mango chunks with Greek yogurt, milk, and honey for a healthy and refreshing breakfast or snack. Mango Sticky Rice Cook sticky rice according to package instructions, then top with sliced mango and a drizzle of sweetened coconut milk for a sweet and satisfying dessert. Mango Chutney Simmer diced mango, chopped onion, ginger, garlic, vinegar, and sugar until thick and syrupy to make a tangy and spicy condiment that is perfect for serving with grilled meats or cheese. In conclusion, mango is a delicious and nutritious fruit that can be enjoyed in many ways. Whether you prefer it in a sweet dessert or a savory salsa, mango is a great addition to any meal. So next time you're at the grocery store, be sure to pick up a few ripe mangoes and give one of these recipes a try. Mango is a delicious and nutritious tropical fruit that is popular around the world. It is low in calories, high in fiber, and packed with vitamins and minerals. One medium-sized mango provides the following nutrients. Calories, 99. Carbohydrates, 25 grams. Fiber, 3 grams. Protein, 1 gram. Fat, 0.6 grams. Vitamin C, 67% of the daily value, DV. Vitamin A, 10% of the DV. Folate, 18% of the DV. Potassium, 6% of the DV. Copper, 9% of the DV. Mangoes also contain antioxidants like beta-carotene and polyphenol, which can help protect your cells from damage and reduce your risk of chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease. In addition to their nutritional value, mangoes offer several health benefits. They may Improve digestion, mangoes are high in fiber, which can help promote regular bowel movements and prevent constipation. They also contain enzymes that can break down proteins and aid in digestion. Boost immunity, a high vitamin C content in mangoes can help boost your immune system and reduce your risk of infections. Support eye health, the beta-carotene in mangoes can help promote healthy eyes and reduce your risk of age-related macular degeneration. Lower inflammation, the antioxidants in mangoes can help reduce inflammation in the body, which is linked to several chronic diseases. Overall, mangoes are a healthy and delicious addition to your diet. Mangoes are believed to have originated in South Asia, specifically in the region that includes modern-day India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. The fruit has been cultivated in this region for thousands of years, and references to mangoes can be found in ancient Sanskrit texts dating back to the 4th century BCE. Mangoes have been used in various ways throughout history, both for their nutritional value and for medicinal purposes. In Ayurvedic medicine, a traditional system of medicine in India, mangoes have been used to treat a range of ailments, including diarrhea, fever, and respiratory problems. As the fruit became more widely cultivated, it spread to other parts of the world, including Southeast Asia, Africa, and the Americas. Today, mangoes are grown in more than 100 countries, with India being the world's largest producer. 
mangoes are enjoyed in a variety of ways around the world. In South Asia, the fruit is often eaten fresh or used in chutneys, while in Latin America, it is commonly used to make drinks such as mango juice or smoothies. In some cultures, the fruit is also used in savory dishes, such as mango salsa or curries. Overall, mangoes have played a significant role in both the culinary and medicinal traditions of many cultures throughout history. Mango is a versatile fruit that can be enjoyed in many different ways as part of a healthy diet. Here are some ways to incorporate mango into your meals. Smoothies, mango adds natural sweetness to smoothies, making them a delicious and healthy treat. Blend mango with yogurt, spinach, and a banana for a nutritious and refreshing smoothie. Salads, mango is a great addition to any salad. Combine diced mango with mixed greens, avocado, and grilled chicken for a healthy and satisfying meal. Salsa, mango salsa is a tasty and healthy dip for chips or a topping for grilled fish or chicken. Combine diced mango with red onion, cilantro, jalapeno, and lime juice for a flavorful salsa. Curry, mango adds sweetness to savory dishes, such as curry. Combine diced mango with chicken, coconut milk, and curry powder for a delicious and healthy meal. Desserts, mango can be used to make healthy and delicious desserts. Blend mango with yogurt and freeze for a refreshing mango frozen yogurt. Incorporating mango into your meals is an easy way to add flavor and nutrition to your diet. Mango is a popular tropical fruit that is cultivated in many parts of the world. However, like any other agricultural product, mango farming and production can have both positive and negative impacts on the environment. One of the environmental considerations related to mango farming is deforestation. Mango trees require large amounts of land to grow and produce fruit, which can lead to deforestation in some areas. This can have negative impacts on biodiversity and ecosystem services such as water regulation, soil conservation, and carbon sequestration. In addition to deforestation, mango farming can also lead to soil degradation if proper soil management practices are not implemented. Overuse of fertilizers and pesticides can also lead to soil and water pollution, which can have negative impacts on local ecosystems and human health. Another environmental consideration related to mango production is transportation. Mangoes are often transported long distances to reach consumers, which can result in high levels of greenhouse gas emissions from transportation and refrigeration. To mitigate the negative environmental impacts of mango farming and production, there are several sustainable practices that can be implemented. These include Agroforestry, planting mango trees alongside other crops such as coffee or cocoa, can help maintain soil health and biodiversity, while also providing additional income for farmers. Organic farming, avoiding the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides can help reduce soil and water pollution, while also protecting the health of farmers and consumers. Local production and consumption, supporting local farmers and buying mangoes that are produced closer to home can help reduce the environmental impact of transportation and refrigeration. Overall, while mango farming and production can have negative environmental impacts, there are ways to mitigate these impacts and promote sustainable practices. By supporting sustainable mango production, we can help ensure a healthy environment and a reliable supply of this delicious and nutritious tropical fruit. Mangoes are a versatile fruit that can be used in a variety of sweet and savory dishes. Here are some creative ways to use mangoes in recipes. Mango salsa, dice up some mangoes and mix them with chopped onions, tomatoes, jalapenos, and cilantro for a delicious salsa that pairs well with grilled fish or chicken. Mango smoothie, blend together mangoes, yogurt, and a splash of coconut milk for a refreshing and healthy smoothie. Mango chutney, cook down mangoes with spices like ginger, garlic, and turmeric to create a flavorful chutney that can be used as a condiment or sauce for meat dishes. Mango sticky rice, mix cooked glutinous rice with coconut milk and sugar, then top with fresh mango slices for a traditional Thai dessert. Mango salad, combine sliced mangoes with arugula, goat cheese, and a simple vinaigrette for a light and refreshing salad. Mango barbecue sauce, puree mangoes with tomato sauce, vinegar, and spices to create a sweet and tangy barbecue sauce that pairs well with grilled meats and vegetables. 
Mango Curry Add diced mangoes to a curry dish for a sweet and savory flavor that pairs well with chicken or tofu. These are just a few ideas for how to use mangoes in recipes beyond just eating them plain. Get creative and experiment with different flavor combinations to discover your own unique mango creations. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Good luck! Hello and welcome, I am Hamada El Halfawi. Today we will talk about the banana fruit. I would like you to be in the best condition. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Bananas are one of the most popular and widely consumed fruits in the world. Not only are they delicious, but they are also rich in nutrients and offer a wide range of health benefits. In this article, we will explore the history, nutrition, and benefits of bananas, as well as some fun facts and tips on how to enjoy them. Bananas have been cultivated for thousands of years and are thought to have originated in Southeast Asia. They were first introduced to the Western world in the 15th century by Portuguese explorers. Today, they are grown in tropical regions all around the world, including South America, Africa, and Asia. One of the most significant benefits of bananas is their nutritional value. They are an excellent source of fiber, vitamin C, vitamin B6, and potassium. These nutrients help to support a healthy digestive system, boost immunity, and regulate blood pressure. Additionally, bananas are low in calories and are a great option for a healthy snack or breakfast. Aside from their nutritional value, bananas are also a versatile fruit. They can be eaten raw, baked into bread or muffins, sliced into a fruit salad, or blended into a smoothie. They can also be frozen and blended into a dairy-free ice cream. Overall, bananas are an affordable, convenient, and healthy fruit that can be enjoyed in many different ways. Whether you're looking for a quick snack or a nutritious ingredient for your favorite recipe, bananas are an excellent choice. What are the health benefits of eating bananas? Bananas are a nutrient-rich fruit that offers numerous health benefits. They are a good source of dietary fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Some of the health benefits of eating bananas include Digestive health – Bananas are rich in fiber which promotes digestive health and helps prevent constipation. Heart health bananas are a good source of potassium, which helps regulate blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart disease. Energy boost bananas are a good source of natural sugars, which provide an energy boost when needed. Mood improvement bananas contain the amino acid tryptophan, which helps improve mood and reduce symptoms of depression. Nutrient-rich, bananas are a good source of vitamin C, vitamin B6, and manganese, which are important for overall health and well-being. Weight management, bananas are low in calories and high in fiber, making them a good food choice for weight management. Immune system support, bananas contain vitamin C, which is important for a healthy immune system. Eye health, bananas are a good source of vitamin A which is important for eye health. Bone health, bananas are a good source of potassium and magnesium, which are important for bone health. Skin health, bananas contain vitamin C and vitamin B6, which are important for skin health. Overall, bananas are a healthy and nutritious fruit that can be enjoyed as part of a balanced diet. Where do bananas originate from, and where are they grown today? Bananas are believed to have originated in Southeast Asia, specifically in the region that includes Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. From there, they were spread throughout the Pacific and eventually to the Americas. Today, bananas are grown in tropical regions around the world, including countries in Latin America, Africa, and Asia. What are some healthy and easy banana recipes? Bananas are a versatile fruit that can be used in a variety of healthy and delicious recipes. Here are some easy ideas to incorporate bananas into your meals. Banana smoothie, blend a ripe banana with some milk, 
yogurt, and your favorite fruits for a quick and easy breakfast or snack. Banana Oatmeal, mash a banana into your morning oatmeal for added sweetness and nutrition. Banana Bread, use ripe bananas to make a healthy and delicious banana bread. You can find many recipes online that use whole wheat flour and natural sweeteners like honey or maple syrup. Banana Pancakes, mash a ripe banana into pancake batter for a tasty and healthy breakfast option. Banana Ice Cream, blend frozen bananas in a food processor for a creamy and healthy ice cream alternative. Banana and Nut Butter Toast, spread nut butter on toast and top with sliced bananas for a quick and satisfying breakfast or snack. Banana and Yogurt Parfait, layer sliced bananas, yogurt, and granola in a glass for a healthy and delicious breakfast or snack. Banana and Berry Smoothie Bowl, blend frozen bananas and berries with some milk or yogurt and serve in a bowl topped with granola, nuts, and seeds for a healthy and filling breakfast or snack. Bananas are a highly nutritious fruit and have a unique nutritional profile compared to other fruits. They are an excellent source of several essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, vitamin B6, and potassium. Compared to other fruits, bananas are a particularly good source of dietary fiber, providing about 3 grams per medium-sized banana. They are also low in calories, with a medium-sized banana containing only about 105 calories. In terms of their sugar content, bananas are considered to be moderately high in natural sugars, containing about 14 grams of sugar per medium-sized banana. However, they also contain fiber, which can help slow down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream and prevent spikes in blood sugar levels. Overall, bananas are a healthy and nutritious fruit that can be a great addition to a balanced diet. What are some fun facts about bananas? Sure, here are some fun facts about bananas. Bananas are technically berries, not fruits. Bananas are the world's most popular fruit and the fourth most valuable crop globally. The scientific name for the banana is Musa sapientum, which means fruit of the wise men. Bananas are rich in potassium, which helps regulate blood pressure and can reduce the risk of stroke. The average American eats about 26 pounds of bananas per year. Bananas float in water because they are less dense than water. The inside of a banana peel can be used to relieve itchiness and inflammation from bug bites and other skin irritations. The United States is the world's largest importer of bananas, while Ecuador is the world's largest exporter. In some countries, bananas are considered bad luck to bring on a fishing boat because they are believed to attract storms. The most popular banana variety is the Cavendish, but there are over 1,000 different types of bananas in the world. I hope you find these fun facts interesting. What are some common misconceptions about bananas and their nutritional value? One common misconception about bananas is that they are not a good fruit to eat if you are trying to lose weight. While bananas are higher in calories and carbohydrates than some other fruits, they also contain fiber and important nutrients that can aid in weight loss and overall health. Another misconception is that bananas are not good for people with diabetes because of their high sugar content. While bananas do contain natural sugars, they also have a low glycemic index, which means they are less likely to cause blood sugar spikes. As with any food, moderation is key. Some people also believe that bananas are not good for digestion because they are high in potassium, which can lead to bloating and constipation. However, potassium is actually important for maintaining healthy digestion and preventing constipation. It is important to remember that individual nutritional needs and tolerances can vary, and consulting with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian is recommended for personalized advice. What are the environmental impacts of banana farming? Banana farming can have significant environmental impacts, particularly in countries where it is grown on a large scale for export. One major issue is the heavy use of pesticides and fertilizers, which can have negative impacts on soil health, water quality, and the health of farm workers. 
In addition, large-scale banana farming can lead to deforestation and the destruction of natural habitats, particularly in areas where forests are cleared to make way for new banana plantations. Another issue is the use of monoculture farming practices, where a single crop is grown in large, uniform plots. This can lead to the loss of biodiversity and increased vulnerability to pests and disease outbreaks. In addition, the long-distance transportation of bananas to consumer markets can result in significant greenhouse gas emissions and contribute to climate change. Efforts are being made to address these environmental impacts through more sustainable farming practices, such as integrated pest management, crop rotation, and the use of organic fertilizers. Some banana farms are also adopting agroforestry practices, where banana plants are grown alongside other crops and trees to increase biodiversity and soil health. Overall, while banana farming can have significant environmental impacts, there are ways to mitigate these effects through more sustainable farming practices and responsible consumer choices. What is the history and cultural significance of corn? Corn, also known as maize, has a rich and complex history that spans thousands of years and countless cultures. Its origins can be traced back to Mesoamerica, where it was first domesticated by indigenous people more than 7,000 years ago. Over time, it became a staple crop in many other regions of the world, including North America, South America, and Africa. In many indigenous cultures, corn is viewed as a sacred plant and is deeply intertwined with spiritual and cultural traditions. For example, in the Andean region of South America, corn is associated with the Inca god of agriculture and is used in many religious ceremonies. In the United States, corn has played a central role in the diets and cultures of many Native American tribes, such as the Hopi and Navajo. Corn has also played a significant role in shaping the modern world. In the 16th century, Spanish conquistadors brought corn back to Europe, where it quickly became popular as a food crop. Today, corn is one of the most widely cultivated crops in the world, with millions of tons produced each year. It is used in many different ways, including as a source of food, animal feed, and fuel. In addition to its cultural and historical significance, corn has also played an important role in the development of modern agriculture and biotechnology. Scientists have used genetic engineering to create corn varieties that are more resistant to pests and diseases, more productive, and more adaptable to different growing conditions. This has helped to increase the yield and efficiency of corn farming, but has also raised concerns about the potential impact on the environment and human health. Overall, the history and cultural significance of corn are a testament to the deep and complex relationships between humans and the natural world, and to the many ways in which our lives and cultures are intertwined with the plants and animals that sustain us. How is corn grown and harvested, and what are the various types of corn? Corn is grown as an annual crop in many parts of the world, and the process of planting, growing, and harvesting corn can vary depending on the climate, soil conditions, and farming practices used. Planting, corn is typically planted in the spring, when the soil has warmed up enough to support seed germination. Farmers can either plant corn seeds directly in the soil, or they can start them indoors and transplant them later. In some regions, farmers may also use irrigation systems to supplement rainfall and ensure that the corn has enough water to grow. Growing, as the corn plants grow, they require nutrients and water to support their development. Farmers may use fertilizers and pesticides to help the plants grow and protect them from pests and diseases. As the corn plants mature, they may also require additional support, such as staking or trellising, to prevent them from falling over in strong winds. Harvesting, corn is typically harvested in the fall, after the years have matured and the kernels have dried out. The exact timing of the harvest can vary depending on the desired level of moisture in the kernels, as well as weather conditions and other factors. Farmers may use combines or other harvesting machinery to gather the corn, and they may store it in silos or other facilities until it can be processed or sold. Types of corn There are many different varieties of corn, each with its own unique characteristics and uses. Some of the most common types of corn include Dent corn, this is the most widely cultivated type of corn, and is typically used for animal feed and industrial purposes. 
Sweet corn, this variety is commonly eaten as a vegetable and is known for its tender kernels and high sugar content. Popcorn, this type of corn is used to make popcorn and has a hard outer shell that pops when heated. Flour corn, this variety is used to make cornmeal and other corn-based products. Ornamental corn, this type of corn is grown for its colorful kernels and is often used for decorative purposes. Overall, corn is a versatile and important crop that plays a key role in the global food system and many other industries. Its cultivation and harvesting methods continue to evolve and adapt to changing environmental and economic conditions. What are some of the nutritional benefits of corn, and how is it used in cooking? Chat GPT Corn is a highly nutritious food that is rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Here are some of the nutritional benefits of corn. Vitamins and minerals, corn contains high levels of vitamins B and C, as well as minerals such as magnesium, potassium, and phosphorus. Fiber, corn is a good source of dietary fiber, which can help promote digestive health and reduce the risk of certain diseases. Antioxidants, corn contains antioxidants such as lutein and zeaxanthin, which can help protect against certain types of cancer and age-related diseases. In cooking, corn is a versatile ingredient that can be used in a wide variety of dishes. Here are some common ways that corn is used in cooking. Grilled corn, one of the most popular ways to prepare corn is to grill it, either on the cob or as kernels. Cornbread, cornmeal is a popular ingredient in southern cooking and is often used to make cornbread. Tacos and burritos, corn tortillas are a staple of many Mexican dishes, such as tacos and burritos. Soups and stews, corn is often added to soups and stews, such as corn chowder and vegetable soup. Salads, corn is a tasty addition to salads, such as black bean and corn salad or southwest salad. Sides, corn is often served as a side dish, such as corn on the cob or creamed corn. Overall, corn is a versatile and nutritious food that can be used in many different ways in cooking. Its mild flavor and crunchy texture make it a favorite ingredient in many cultures around the world. How is corn used in various industries, such as the production of biofuels and plastics? Corn is an important crop that is used in many different industries, including food, agriculture, energy, and manufacturing. Here are some examples of how corn is used in various industries. Biofuels. Corn is used to produce ethanol, a type of biofuel that is used to power vehicles and equipment. The process of producing ethanol involves fermenting cornstarch with yeast, which produces ethanol and carbon dioxide. Animal feed. Corn is one of the most widely used animal feed ingredients in the world and is commonly used to feed livestock such as cattle, pigs, and chickens. Food products. Corn is used to produce a wide variety of food products such as corn syrup, cornstarch, and cornmeal. It is also a common ingredient in snack foods such as popcorn, tortilla chips, and corn chips. Plastics. Corn is used to produce bioplastics, which are plastics that are made from renewable resources such as cornstarch. Bioplastics are biodegradable and compostable, making them an environmentally friendly alternative to traditional plastics. Industrial products. Corn is used to produce a wide variety of industrial products, such as adhesives, solvents, and coatings. It is also used to produce ethanolamines, which are used in the production of detergents, cosmetics, and other consumer products. Overall, corn is a versatile crop that is used in many different industries around the world. Its uses range from food and animal feed to biofuels and industrial products, making it an important part of the global economy. What are some of the environmental impacts of corn production, and how can we ensure sustainable and responsible farming practices? The production of corn can have significant environmental impacts, particularly in terms of land use, water use, and fertilizer and pesticide use. Here are some of the environmental impacts of corn production. Land use, corn production requires a large amount of land, which can lead to deforestation, habitat loss, and soil erosion. Water use, corn requires a significant amount of water to grow, which can put a strain on local water resources and lead to water pollution from fertilizer and pesticide runoff. 
Fertilizer and Pesticide Use Corn is often grown with the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, which can lead to soil and water pollution and harm wildlife. To ensure sustainable and responsible farming practices, there are several strategies that can be used. Conservation agriculture, this involves using techniques such as crop rotation, cover cropping, and reduced tillage to improve soil health, reduce erosion, and conserve water. Precision agriculture, this involves using technology such as GPS mapping and sensors to optimize the use of fertilizer and water, and reduce the environmental impact of farming. Integrated pest management, this involves using a combination of techniques such as crop rotation, biological control, and targeted pesticide use to manage pests in a sustainable way. Sustainable land use planning, this involves ensuring that land is used in a responsible and sustainable way, and that farmers have access to the resources they need to implement sustainable farming practices. Overall, by adopting sustainable and responsible farming practices, it is possible to minimize the environmental impact of corn production and ensure that corn farming remains a viable and sustainable industry for years to come. How has the genetic modification of corn affected its cultivation and use? The genetic modification of corn has had a significant impact on its cultivation and use. Genetically modified GM, corn has been developed to have specific traits that make it more resistant to pests, more tolerant to herbicides, and more adaptable to changing environmental conditions. Here are some of the ways that the genetic modification of corn has affected its cultivation and use. Pest resistance GM corn has been developed to be resistant to pests such as corn borers and rootworms, which can significantly reduce crop yields. This has reduced the need for pesticide use and increased crop yields. Herbicide tolerance, GM corn has also been developed to be tolerant to certain herbicides, which makes it easier to control weeds and reduce the need for tillage. Nutritional content, GM corn has been developed to have higher levels of certain nutrients, such as vitamin A and iron, which can help to address nutritional deficiencies in populations that rely on corn as a staple food. Ethanol production, GM corn has been used to produce ethanol, which is a renewable fuel that can help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and dependence on fossil fuels. However, the genetic modification of corn has also been controversial, with concerns raised about the potential risks to human health and the environment. Some critics argue that GM corn could have unintended consequences, such as the spread of herbicide-resistant weeds or the development of new pests that are resistant to GM traits. Overall, the genetic modification of corn has had a significant impact on its cultivation and use, and has the potential to help address some of the challenges facing the agriculture industry. However, it is important to continue to evaluate the risks and benefits of GM corn to ensure that it is used in a responsible and sustainable way. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Good luck! Hello and welcome, I am Hamada Al Halafawi. I brought you a new video today that talks about agriculture. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. What is agriculture, and why is it important? Agriculture is the practice of cultivating land, raising animals, and producing food, fuel, and fiber for human consumption. It is the backbone of the world's food supply and is essential for human survival. Agriculture is important because it provides food and raw materials for industries, creates employment opportunities, and contributes significantly to the economy of a country. Without agriculture, there would be no food to feed the world's growing population, and food scarcity and hunger would be widespread. Additionally, Agriculture is a vital source of income and livelihoods for millions of people worldwide, particularly in developing countries where agriculture is the primary economic activity. Agriculture also has a significant impact on the environment, with sustainable agriculture practices being essential for protecting the planet's resources and ecosystems for future generations. In summary, agriculture is essential for our survival, our economy, and the health of our planet. What are the different types of agriculture? There are several different types of agriculture, each with its unique characteristics and techniques. Some of the major types of agriculture are 
1. Subsistence agriculture. This type of agriculture involves small-scale farming in which farmers produce only enough food to meet the needs of their family or village. 2. Commercial agriculture. This type of agriculture is focused on producing crops and livestock for sale in markets. It includes large-scale farming operations that rely heavily on technology and modern farming techniques. 3. Organic agriculture. Organic agriculture involves the use of natural and sustainable farming practices, avoiding the use of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and genetically modified organisms, GMOs. For dot intensive agriculture, intensive agriculture is a type of farming that relies heavily on technology and high inputs of capital and labor to maximize yields per unit of land. 5. Extensive agriculture. This type of agriculture is practiced on large land areas with low inputs of labor and capital, producing low yields per unit of land. 7. Mixed crop and livestock farming. This type of agriculture involves the integration of crop and livestock production, where crops are grown for livestock feed, and animals provide manure for crop fertilization. Aquaculture. This type of agriculture involves the cultivation of aquatic organisms such as fish, shellfish, and seaweed. 8. Agroforestry. Agroforestry is a sustainable land use system that combines trees with crops and or livestock production to create a diverse and productive ecosystem. Each type of agriculture has its unique advantages and disadvantages, and choosing the right type depends on factors such as climate, soil type, topography, market demand, and available resources. How has agriculture evolved over time? 1. Agriculture has undergone significant changes and evolved over time, starting from the early days of human civilization to the present day. Some of the major milestones in the evolution of agriculture are 2. The Agricultural Revolution this occurred around 10,000 years ago when humans transitioned from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to agriculture-based settlements. This led to the domestication of plants and animals, the development of agriculture tools, and the establishment of permanent settlements. 3. The Green Revolution This took place in the 1950s and 1960s and involved the introduction of high-yielding crop varieties, improved irrigation systems, and the use of fertilizers and pesticides. This revolution increased global food production and helped to alleviate hunger in many parts of the world. For dot precision agriculture, this is a modern-day agricultural practice that uses technology to optimize farming operations. It involves the use of satellite imagery, drones, sensors, and other tools to collect and analyze data to improve crop yields and reduce environmental impact. 5. Sustainable agriculture. This is a more recent development that seeks to balance economic, social, and environmental considerations in agricultural production. It involves the use of regenerative practices such as crop rotation, cover cropping, and reduced tillage to maintain soil health and reduce the use of synthetic inputs. In summary, agriculture has evolved from simple subsistence farming to a complex, technology-driven industry that plays a critical role in feeding the world's population. While these changes have brought many benefits, they have also presented new challenges, such as environmental degradation and climate change. The continued evolution of agriculture will require ongoing innovation and adaptation to ensure that it remains sustainable and resilient in the face of future challenges. How can technology be used to improve agricultural practices? Technology can be used to improve agricultural practices in a number of ways. Here are some examples. 1. Precision agriculture. Precision agriculture uses data analysis tools, such as GPS and remote sensing, to monitor crop health, soil moisture, and other factors in real time. This allows farmers to optimize their use of water, fertilizers, and pesticides, and reduce waste. 2. Biotechnology Biotechnology can be used to create crops that are more resistant to pests and diseases, have a longer shelf life, and are more nutritious. Genetic engineering and gene editing technologies can be used to modify the DNA of crops to achieve these traits. 
3. Farm Management Software Farm management software can help farmers to manage their operations more efficiently. This includes tools for record keeping, crop planning, and inventory management. For dot drones, drones can be used to monitor crops, assess crop health, and apply pesticides and fertilizers with greater accuracy. This can help to reduce the use of chemicals and minimize the impact of farming on the environment. Autonomous farming equipment, autonomous farming equipment, such as self-driving tractors, can help to reduce labor costs and improve efficiency in farming operations. Overall, technology has the potential to significantly improve agricultural practices and address some of the challenges facing the industry. However, it is important to ensure that these technologies are deployed in a responsible and sustainable manner, and that they are accessible to farmers of all sizes and levels of resources. What are some sustainable agriculture practices? Sustainable agriculture practices are those that aim to maximize food production while minimizing negative impacts on the environment, preserving natural resources, and promoting social and economic equity. Here are some examples of sustainable agriculture practices. 1. Crop rotation. Crop rotation involves alternating the crops grown in a particular field to improve soil fertility and reduce the buildup of pests and diseases. 2. Conservation tillage. Conservation tillage involves reducing the amount of tillage, plowing, done on a field to reduce soil erosion, improve soil health, and conserve water. 3. Integrated Pest Management IPM IPM involves using a combination of strategies to manage pests, including natural predators, crop rotation, and judicious use of pesticides to minimize negative impacts on the environment. For dot agroforestry, agroforestry involves incorporating trees and other woody perennials into agricultural systems to improve soil health, reduce erosion, and provide habitat for wildlife. 5. Organic farming. Organic farming involves using natural inputs, such as compost and manure, and avoiding the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. This can help to reduce negative impacts on the environment and improve soil health. 6. Cover crops. Cover crops are crops planted between cash crops to help improve soil health, reduce erosion, and provide habitat for beneficial insects and wildlife. Overall, sustainable agriculture practices aim to improve the long-term productivity and resilience of agricultural systems while minimizing negative impacts on the environment and promoting social and economic equity. These practices can help to ensure that agriculture remains a viable and sustainable source of food production for future generations. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.